Welcome back uh, to part two of the Crisis Suit build. Uh, today we're going to be building the arms, uh, plasma, plasma rifle, and doing the legs. So that shouldn't take too long, but my normal style is we'll fumble our way through it and it'll take another half an hour. Um, so uh, thanks for joining me again. Let's get on with it. Right then, guys, so we've got our torso that's sort of glued together now. Got a couple more bits to do on this, but uh, I've gone ahead and just glued my commander legs together. Um, if you've bought the, the box, you'll get the instructions to how to glue these together. You can just pose them ever so slightly, but that's how I've done mine. Um, I think I'm going to go for a sort of leading into the shot style uh, pose. And so what we're going to do next is we are going to glue this little guy onto his torso. So I'm going to figure out the position roughly where I want it. Put a bit of glue. Now here you could, if you really want to, go in and fill a lot of this underside in with uh, green stuff or something like that. But I can't be bothered. And you're not really going to see it. So uh, who cares? Now that plastic ring is now just sitting on top of the uh, leg section. What we're going to do, while that's sort of welding together, we're going to put a little bit on the side. And we're going to take one of our bandsaw shoulder pads and we're just going to pop it in there. On that side. Sorry, I'm just banging the camera stand there. Hold that for a minute. I'm going to do the same on the other side. A little bit more glue. Come on there, behave. Put that in there like that. That should uh, act. Sort of. Pop it bond correctly. Yeah, I think that looks okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the side and we're going to take our fusion blaster cylinders. And they're just going to go at the bottom of the jetpack here. I don't know what these are. I just thought, yeah, I'll just stick something else down there. And it bolts the bottom of the, the Backpack out a little bit. So I'm going to pop these on here and then drop them, and then it doesn't glue in the right place. There you go. So that's that. Something like that. Not to make them too, uh, too wonky. And we're going to leave him to set for a minute. Okay guys, so the torso is now glued onto the legs. Uh, I went ahead and just done my feet. Um, you can do normal commander feet if you want to, but I just like the way these ones make them a little bit shorter. And um, I just like that they're more nimble. They're not these big clumpy kind of hooves. Uh, sorry, so next we're gonna work on the arms. And uh, I've cut some different size tubing out. This is to act as a sort of bed for the arms. So I'm just smacking the camera around again. Uh, this tube is roughly five millimeters. So we've got some five millimeter tube. And this tube is fits just inside it. And I think it's three millimeter because I've got one millimeter wall of plastic tubing. Now what we're gonna do, I've made these quite long and that will become apparent a little bit later, um, just because it allows you a little bit of flexibility in your arm placement. So we're just gonna glue these on. Like that. Do the same again on the other side. Okay, there we go. Build that level. And then inside those, we fit a bit of glue. And then we're going 
few things in. So yeah, like I said, they're sticking out loads at the moment, uh, but that doesn't matter because we're going to cut them down when we come on to when we move on to doing the upper palms. So there's that. Okay, uh, we're going to leave the head till last. Um, there's a couple of reasons. Well, there's only really one reason for this. It will just sit down in there. Uh, just a nice bit of glue will allow it to contact onto the top of that panel. Um, but I always find gluing the heads last allows you perfect opportunity to make sure it lines up with the gun properly. Um, if you do it before, you can end up with them looking slightly off centre from the gun. So we're just going to uh, come put the head back on the end. Um, if you bought commander kits to do this, there's no reason why you couldn't use the commander arms um, and find a way of attaching them to the tops of the torsos. But I actually do not have any commander arms because I've used them all. So I was making these. These were kind of born out of what I had left over from a load of other conversions. But what we're going to do is we're going to move on to the arms, which is the um, marker lights, parts of the drones, old crisis battlesuit arms, and then just your tower hands. Okay, guys, so I've trimmed down these old crisis team hands or arms. I've got my hands and I've got the two sensor things. Um, this is pretty much all the parts left now really. Um, so what I need to do is on the back of these hands I need to drill out the um, where the fingers are. So I need to drill that out on both of them and what we're going to do is we're just going to, I'm going to use my Dremel, I'm going to drill that out and then I've got a sort of a ball nose so a round Dremel piece and I'm going to draw that out as well so it's nice and round in there and then what that's going to do is contact inside there so I'm going to do that quickly so I'll drill that out and uh, we'll come back right so I've drilled those out now hopefully that focus is okay for you but there both of those are drilled out Now what we need to do is make sure they line up in the shoulder pads. So you can see they sort of line up a bit. But what we need to do is cut them down to the right length. So what we're going to do, should be able to just use my cutters, but actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to use them the wrong way around. And what that does is it sort of Curves the edge off a little bit for me. Sorry if this is out of focus now. So there's that. So that will go in there like that. And as you can see, they fit quite nicely in there now. With the other one as well. There we go. So they fit in there nicely now. Okay guys, I'm going to kind of go back on what I previously said and I'm going to build uh, a, the plasma rifle for you. So um, what we're going to need to do this is a crisis flamer, uh, two, one uh, plasma rifle from the plasma rifle earlier, a fusion blaster and a plasma gun. Um, I wasn't going to do this earlier because I actually didn't have the parts, but I do now. So I found an old plasma rifle that's got a bit of paint on it and it's probably uh, seen better days, but the bits that are all bobbly and rubbish I'm going to cut away, so that's not really uh, a big deal really. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off with the plasma rifle and uh, we're going to cut the barrel off. So we don't need that anymore. We go and we're going to cut the uh, little tube off okay so that's all the plasma rifle bits cut off uh, what we're going to do though is I have noticed that this is a slightly older style plasma rifle to the new ones it's going to look a little bit different 
Uh, hopefully no one notices. <laughs> so we're going to try and get away with that. We're going to cut the uh, locators off the bottom, the side, the other side. Get rid of those. Maybe give those a little sun down. Okay, so that's that cleaned up. Next, we're going to want to take the tau flamer and we're just going to cut off the, the igniter on the end of the barrel. Something like that. We're going to keep that because we need it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to cut off the tanks because we also need those. There we go, there's the tanks. Now, what we're going to do is the we're going to cut off all of the main part of the gun. Let's get rid of these. All these little bits off here. There we go. Let's get rid of that. Definitely going to need a bit of a well down. It's looking a little bit skew with. Okay, so that's that cleaned up. All right, now we need to cut this down a little bit more. Just going to get rid of this mold line. Now, what we need to do is cut it down just before the nozzle. So there's a little square section, and we need to cut it down. And literally just take the nozzle off. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do that with the knife so I can get it nice and square and we need to cut in line with that the uh, bit at the bottom. So I'll cut that bit off and then I'm just going to cut this nozzle off. Okay, so then we're left with this which is going to form the rest of the barrel. What we're going to do now is we're going to get our plasma rifle, or what's left of it anyway, and we're going to cut it off flush with the little fins at the back there. There you go, so that's cut off flush. And then what we're going to do next is we're going to cut it down to line with this second recess, so not just after the nozzle, so get rid of the nozzle and the little bit there. So I'll do that. That's that done. We'll cut down. So what I'm going to do is I need to glue this part of the plasma rifle to the old part of the plasma rifle. But what I need to do first is sand them down and make them perfectly square. So I'll do that now. Okay, so now that we've cleaned all those up, uh, I am going to glue that to the plasma rifle. Let's just get rid of some of this muck off here. There we go. Nice. I'm just going to get some glue. Pull the nozzle out. Great. Cheers, glue. A little bit of glue on there. There we go. So I'll just bang the camera. I'm going to line that up nice and straight on there. So now that's glued on there now. Well, it's gluing. Try and make it as straight as possible. We're going to go back to our old bit of flamer here. What we're going to do is we're going to try and glue this on here. So, as usual, it needs to be straightened out a little bit, but it should be okay. There we go. There we go. Some of that excess. Okay, that's that done. While they're gluing, we move on to something else. So, next, we're going to take the 
little tip of the flamer, sort of a jet as something, or the igniter. I'm going to use a little bit of plastic guard. Put a bit of glue in there and glue that on there. And this is just going to create a sort of elbow stock kind of idea. Leave that on there to glue again for a minute. All right, so back to this. Yeah, which they do almost. A little bit shorter because I'm using this older plasma rifle. It's not quite lining up properly. Should line up with a new style. But while we're waiting, I'm just going to cut the parts off the plasma rifle. So I've just got the main. Uh, main body of the plasma rifle. Okay, so we have the main body of the plasma rifle. A couple of bits I need to cut off again as well. I need to just cut the little uh, locating nubs off the side. So we do that quickly. Get rid of those. Get rid of you. There we go. So now hopefully that should be as long as that plasma rifle. And you can see it's not. So I think what I need to do, the two little louver vents at the bottom, I think you need to cut it back so there's only one of those, if I remember rightly. Looks like it's just in line with the second one. So out of the two little vents at the bottom, you need to cut away all the plastic until the second vent. So I'm just going to do that quickly. Okay, so that's cut down. And this should... Oh, I've twisted it. There we go. I think that should line up on there now. And if I remember rightly, all we've got to do is cut a tiny section off the bottom of there. There we go. No. Should slot there nicely. And then line up with the plasma rifle. Yeah, here we go. So let's get a bit of glue there. Let's get my glue will work again, which I don't think it will. Good enough. Let's pop a bit of glue on there. Get the uh, fusion blaster on. It's a bit of a ridge there causing me a problem. Get out of it, you. Okay, so that's that. What we're going to do is get these uh, little wingling parts. Just one of them will do. Not going to see it on the other side of the gun, so we can uh, have to worry too much about that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to cut this off just after the first ridge, like that. Then I'm going to put a little bit of glue here. Or tons of glue, whatever, whatever floats your boat. There we go. And that's just going to go on there. It sort of links up the part of the fusion rifle to the uh, plasma rifle. Something like that. And then all we need to do next is glue our flamer barrel to the plasma rifle barrel. So we need to do a little bit of trim in here. Perfect. And if you're ever unsure, just use my philosophy and just put twice as much glue on that you need to. And it will, it's never going to go anywhere. Straighten that up, straighten the barrels up. You know, and you get like really cool fingerprints in the plastic where your fingers have been. So, you know, everyone loves that kind of thing. There we go, look at that mess. Cool. So there's the basics of your plasma rifle done. Uh, we've still got our little stock to glue on, which we've got here. And then we can start working on the hands. I'm going to leave that set for a second and then we'll come back. 
Okay, so now we'll glue the hand on, so we've got a little fist hand. I just glued a tiny bit of uh, plastic card to that just to get it to sit right. So we're going to pop that in underneath there. There we go. That's that. Nice and easy. And the next bit is sorting out the palm hand. Now, this one's a little bit annoying because you kind of have to either bend the fingers or cut the fingers. Um, I recommend just kind of gently cutting into the fingers to get them to line up, just so they bend around the, the gun a little bit more. So um, it's a bit finicky, it'd be very difficult to show it on camera, but in essence what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut into the back of the hand there and just bend the fingers around a little bit more. Okay, now that I've bent the fingers around a bit more, I'm just going to glue the hand on to the bottom of the gun there. And hopefully the fingers don't fall off. It's at kind of a breaking point right now. There we go. Right, so that's that. What I'm going to do uh, you don't have to do this, but uh, I'm just going to put a tiny bit of plaster card on the back of this plasma rifle just because it looks so different from the others. Just to sort of maybe bulk it out a little bit. Oh, come on, come on now. I'll do nicely. I'm sorry I keep banging the uh, camera guys. Uh, like I said, I'm not really set up for this, so I'm just kind of working with what I got. Okay, so that's the rifle done. Sometimes I find it easier actually. Take a little bit of blue tech again, just pop it on the front of the chest. Stick the gun on that, roughly the position I want it. Now I don't have to hold it, so I can get my arms in. And as you can see, that should work quite well. Get this one out. What I'll do is I'll leave that one there for a second. Just make sure this other arm is going to line up okay. So that arm and the little sensor ray. Yeah, it'd be fine. Nice. Okay, so we've got a rough idea of where we want this gun to sit now. So now what we need to do is think about starting to glue some of these arm sections and seeing if there's anything we need to get rid of. So I can pretty much see now that I can glue this upper arm here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do that. I'm going to put a load of glue. Oh, that's the wrong arm actually. That one's the one we want. Let's get that in there. Come on. Put that in there. Right, so that's going to do like that. Right. Sorry guys, I'm just uh, thinking about the best way to get this guy to go together. Every single one I've done has been ever so slightly different. So it's not all that straightforward on the weapon positioning. What I'm going to do is I'm going to mix up a little bit of green stuff. And um, I'm going to put a little blob on the back of the hand there. Okay, so I've made myself a tiny little ball of green stuff. I'm just going to put that on back of the wrist there. Luckily I've uh, still got some fingernails. That'll do. Touch 
to do that. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to chamfer off the inside of this arm joint here to make a little bit better contact point for the forearm. Right, while I'm there then, let's get another tiny little blob of green stuff. And start work on the upper arm. Stick a little blob on there. There we go. to do is just make sure all this is going to line up properly. Right, so what I'm going to do is I've got a rough idea of where I need this to be now. I'm going to put some glue on there, glue in the little joint that I made, smush it back on there like that, get my arm guns back. Yeah, that'll do. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to hold that for a little while, make sure that glues. Okay guys, so we've um, set the arms up now. Uh, I left these hands to set, uh, the green stuff to go off, and then I took them back off, super glued them, and then put them back together and let them set. So now that's done, they should uh, line up quite nicely on the arms, which they do. Just going to check that I've got enough contact points with the glue, which I do. So. We're just going to go ahead and glue those. I'll do, I'll do. My normal technique of just put as much glue on as humanly possible. Set this up right. Just trying to get it to. Uh, sit in the correct place. Oh, come on. Now this one's a little bit more annoying because it's, the gun isn't actually contacting the torso. Normally I would make the gun contact the torso to give it a lot more stable position but this one doesn't want to. There you go. Okay, gang, now that's, uh, that's done. So what we're going to do is uh, pop some glue on the top here to get the head gluing in. Let's go for it. There we go. Just want to, should be able to get the head in there. Come on, head. Sort, sort, sort your life out. Stuck. Come on. There we go. Perfect. So that's the head. That should glue okay. And we're pretty much done. That's pretty much it. Um, all I'm going to do is add some tiny bits of details to these arm joints here. And by doing that, all I'm going to do is cut off some very small bits of plastic card. One for each arm. And we're going to pop those in. Glue in there. There I am hitting the camera stand again. Side. Oh, might make this one a little bit too big. Quickly chop that down a bit. There we go. 
Put <coughs> it back. So let's grab that. Down a little arm joint there. There we go. And that's it. We're done. Our crisis plasma suit is all done. Like I said I won't glue them to the base just yet. More of a aiming shooting pose. I'll do a little bit of a tinkering and cleaning up, but that is it. He is done. I hope you find this useful. Uh, my uh, first tutorial. Hopefully, it goes okay and the camera stayed in focus long enough for you to actually see what was happening. Um, but yeah, give me some feedback, guys, if it was okay, what I did wrong, if it was too fast, too slow. Um, but thank you very much for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it, even if you're not making one. And uh, hopefully uh, see you next time. Cheers. Thank you.